I wanna give you a few tips on how you can switch into the product management career path in your company. What is going on everybody? Welcome to another video. My name is Alex. If you wanna know about business and product management, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of the new videos. And of course, smash the like button if you haven't already. All right, let's dig in. This video is for you if you are thinking about switching into the product management career path because you've watched some of my videos, or you've watched other videos, or you've read online, and you're interested in the career. So if you're working in a mid-sized company, but certainly if you're working in a big company, it's usually possible to switch over to the product management career path, the product management career ladder. It's not easily done, and there's a lot of ways you can do it wrong. So I wanna walk you through some of the ways that I recommend to go about it. First, check if there's an official program a rotation program of some kind that allows you to get onto the product management ladder. Read up on it. Are there any guides that help you in this process? Is it possible to get in touch with folks that have switched before, that have actually walked this path? Usually the path, especially in the bigger company, involves you staying in your current job title, organization, but taking on additional product management responsibilities, usually in another org or another product entirely, while you are learning and you're sort of proving your case when you're doing this project rotation, usually six months, nine months, 12 months. The idea is that you're basically getting on the job training. So usually a lot of companies will want to help you reach your career goals, at least the good companies will. And so if you have an interest in product management, if those roles are available, it is usually in the company's best interest to actually give you a chance to make the switch. It's still gonna be up to you to actually find a good match for product management role that's open where you could fill it in, build a relationship with the people on that team, the hiring manager and everybody there, make sure you've got a great relationship with your own manager who will help you through this process and take all the necessary steps to actually go through and complete this rotation or this work in the new product management career and then eventually take whatever steps are necessary in order to actually complete the step to get onto the product management ladder. It might involve additional interviews or requirements, whatever the case may be, it's different for different companies. But the key components are your relationship with your manager, make sure you are doing the job that you're supposed to be doing, that you signed up for, that hopefully you and your manager are aligned on what your goals were and you're accomplishing that and you're doing the best you can. Hopefully you've got a manager that is receptive to hearing about your actual career goals. And again, the good managers are, that doesn't mean that we all have good managers. However, if you don't have a good manager or a step manager, meaning someone that your manager's manager or somebody there, a director or somebody that you can talk to or human resources even, then perhaps it's not a good company to be in. But if you're in the company where you've got a great relationship with your manager, you're transparent with them, they know that you're interested in exploring these other product management paths, then work with them on what it may look like to have you take six months off in order to work on another product. So that's the first step is make sure you're aligned with your manager and try to do this ahead of time. If you're thinking in the next six months of making a potential switch to get onto a different career path, then make sure you speak with your manager ahead of time. Make sure you're hitting those expectations and you're doing well, you're performing for the project that you're on and the role that you're on. The next step is to actually network within the company. So if you have internal job postings, those are wonderful. If you have some sort of network functions, again, internally, Try to find those, try to leverage those so you can find opportunities. Once you find those opportunities, it's important not to apply directly. Instead, reach out to the hiring manager and ask to speak to them about this opportunity and give them a compelling case to do that. So either you're extremely enthusiastic or passionate or you have the relevant experience or demonstrate your performance in your role right now. Whatever it is, make a compelling case, short, concise, just a couple of paragraphs of why you'd like to chat with this person about why you think you might be a good fit for this position despite not being on the actual career ladder, on the actual product management ladder. When you reach out like that, your response rate is gonna be much, much higher. Depending on how internally you have these conversations, whether you can just book time on someone's calendar, whether you need an email, whatever it is, usually honest, enthusiastic outreach like this will get your results internally. Because presumably, hiring managers want to find passionate people. If they find somebody internally, it's a lot easier to bring them on than to hire somebody externally. So they're gonna be interested to speak with you. But you need to build those relationships as well. So go to those meetings, attend those meetings, make sure you bring your energy, make sure you do your research ahead of time, you understand what the role actually is asking for. You get to know as much as possible about the opportunity, about the project, the team, and everything in between. So you really come into the conversation already 
with some knowledge. So you're not asking, hey, so what is it that you're working on? What is this project? What do you do? How do you solve the problem? You're coming in, first of all, with the knowledge, whatever you picked up from internal documents or conversations with team members. You're already coming in with questions that are a little bit deeper than some of the surface questions that a regular candidate might ask. So you're coming in there with a little bit of information. As you build those relationships, certainly it's not gonna be necessarily easy to find somebody that is interested in you, but effectively you're looking for that right match, a right product that leverages your skills, your background, your passion, the right team, people that you think you can get along with and you can do a lot with, and of course the right manager, the right hiring manager. Once you've found that, try to make a strong case. And once there's mutual interest, then you bring in your manager who hopefully has already been prepared for what you are interested in and you start those conversations and you start the actual process. Now, assume you've gotten this far, you're gonna start on your new role, you're gonna start on your six month rotation, your product manager rotation, you're gonna get that experience, that's wonderful. During that time, make sure you set multiple times to check in with your new hiring manager because that person you're gonna leverage quite significantly in order to help you actually make the final switch to the product management ladder. Because it's not necessarily finished once you complete that rotation. You're gonna be evaluated most likely, there might be additional steps, additional interviews, or whatever it is that might need to take place. So you are checking in with your hiring manager just to make sure you're always on the same page, you're always meeting or exceeding those expectations, and you're doing the same with the rest of the team members. So at the end of the rotation, when you're done with that period of work, you're gonna have strong collaborators that are gonna back you up when it comes time to actually making the switch. Obviously, there's a lot more hard work involved, but these are the important steps you need to take in order to make sure you can make the switch. And you'll be surprised how many product manager positions exist even even in the smallest companies, and they certainly exist in the bigger companies. So I encourage you to try, reach out, be proactive about it. You'll be surprised at what you can do. Let me know if you have any more specific questions about this process or anything else related to product management in the comments. I respond to every comment and I look forward to making more videos for you. Make sure to smash the like button if you haven't already and subscribe for more videos like this one. Make sure to hit the bell so you don't miss any of the new videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.